Hi guys! Hello! And happy belated Christmas! Yeah, it's not really Christmas anymore. No. <laughs> but we sort of abandoned Vlogmas. Um, we were just, all so ill. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much from about the week before right the way through to... Like, but I got it about three days before Christmas because I was like, I'm not getting it! And then I woke yeah. up and was ill. So, anyway, we are going to do our What We Got For Christmas Disney edition. I'm going to apologise now if you can hear that, the dog has her chew. Um, but she loves it. She does. Um, obviously, standard disclaimer, this isn't supposed to be braggy. We just really like watching these videos and we really like Disney merchandise, so we thought we'd share with you what we got. We did. Um, I'm going to start though with a bit of an honourable mention for this. How cute is this? Um, partly because everyone else who sent us cards Got a little mention in Vlogmas, and this one unfortunately arrived afterwards, but this is from Sprinkle Me Disney. I think you can see that. We, this is the coolest inside of a card we've ever got, and this isn't going thrown away forever. I'm going to keep this. Ever. Go in your little memory box. Yeah, because that is awesome. It's cool. It's very glittery. Yes, it that's absolutely awesome. So thank you for that. And that's from Casey, Missy and Elijah from Sprinkle Me Disney. Um. You might as well start, you've got I've, everything. I have a bit more. Mm. Oops. Yeah. Um, another thing you'd have seen if you, we, if you watched our Vlogmas vlogs was this one, which is from the Disney store, and it's the advent calendar. I think this was <laughs> about £15, but I thought I'd show you what came... <coughs> Finished? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> thought I'd show you what came in day 25, because we didn't um, obviously film that far in. But I did say it came with a free plush ornament. Which is this. It's not quite... Not quite Disney standard, I'm not going to lie. It's just kind of... Foam. Yeah, pretty much. Like a felt. So I don't know what we were expecting, really, but... It Even wasn't... if it had some padding in it. Yeah. In the, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, that probably wasn't worth the £15. But I still love this. And obviously I have it every year now, so that's cool. Should carry on with that theme. Mm. What theme? Again, yeah. you may have seen this if you watched our Vlogmas vlogs, but I have from my friend the Fox and the Hound Christmas ornament. I absolutely love this. I love the way that Todd's kind of peeking over. It's so cute. I think I actually saw that one in Disneyland Paris as well. We did, and I picked it up like the first day, and we were on the way for dinner. And then I got distracted and forgot all about because it. Because food. Because food. And Sarah bought me, she's got this thing that she's going to buy me a Christmas decoration every year. And she bought me a Winnie the Pooh one. I'll just cover me. Oh, oh, there we go. And it's just in like the little globe. The snow in it. And it actually came with the little tag, I don't know if you were able to see that oh, I see that is really small. Yeah, but it says 2016 on there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm still ill, I can't. <laughs> but yeah, um, he's really cute. Why did you go for Winnie the Pooh? Because Winnie the Pooh was the first one you liked. I, I actually said it. it was a shame <laughs> as well that it didn't have a Tigger because Winnie the Pooh was Becca's favourite, Piglet was my mum's and Tigger was mine. So, but as I'm, I'll be at Mum's next Christmas. It yeah, works well. It's quite it'll fitting. Be on the tree. I don't really know where to go with this. Should we just delve in? Just delve in. I'll start with this because it's closest and it's really random. <laughs> it is a Mickey waffle iron, but it's kind of like the pressed. I don't even know old style. I apologise. I think my light bulb just went. It did. That was weird. But oh well, it might not. It's back on. We'll, we'll work around it. But yeah, so we can make Mickey waffles and I've been dying to use this but I didn't want to get it dirty. So <laughs> now we can have Mickey waffles this weekend. Ooh, I've got one. <laughs> no Mickey waffles for her. Have you got your version for this one? No, I left it upstairs but I'll let you show. Oh. Um, I made Sarah and Carl stockings this year and I bought Carl this Mickey. And I have the mini, but she's upstairs. So here's the imaginary version. <laughs> Just imagine pink foam. And... But yeah, yeah, they're cool. And the dog actually haven't, hasn't stolen them yet. So no. that's quite impressive. But this is his only Disney thing, which is why he hasn't no. featured. But this is this is Carl's Disney collection from Christmas. He got a mini. 
Mickey. <laughs> you got many. I got many. No, you did. Okay. And then Beck got me this plaque to go in, in my new office. It just says, if you can dream it, you can do it. And that's quite cool. It was just one of their little presents. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll show this. Because I have actually been using it. Sarah <laughs> bought me um, the Star Wars lounge fly bag for my birthday. So she got me one of the Star Wars purses to go with it. I don't know if you can actually see the print on it. And it's, I have actually been using it. So, but it's got the Star Wars inside it as well. But yeah, I have been using that. So. I don't think we showed you guys her bag, so we'll put a picture in. Because that's quite cool too. Mm. Okay, the next one was from Becca as well. And it came in this big pink awesome box. But she always gets excited when she sees those boxes. Yes, because it says Disney. Now, I didn't even know they made these, so this is really cool. Um, but if you watched our Disneyland Paris haul, then you know that I got Cogsworth and Lumiere. And I kept saying we need a Mrs. Potts and Chip. So... Do you need hands? Yes, I'll let her be hands. We got Mrs. Potts, or I got Mrs. Potts and Chip in the little tea set. And it is actually, you could use the teapot. You could, but I won't. Oh no, you, no, the spout is open. You can use it as a teapot, but you wouldn't because... No, they're too pretty. Oh look, a little chip. And there's his chip. It is a... Nope. Fail. Disney fail. It's this side. But obviously they didn't take it out because... No, it is just taken out of the gold. But they're so cute. It's actually, it's actually heavier than I thought they it are, was. Yeah, decent, decent size and weight. Mm, but they've got face. the um, printing on the bottom. Got hold of her. <laughs> she's going to drop her head. No. But now she's got the collection. I do. Now we're just beast. <laughs> <laughs> I just found something Chip was hiding for me too. And that was from my advent calendar and that is a monorail pin that Carl got for me. I don't know if it's gonna focus properly because of the lights, so I'll put a little picture in for you. It's probably easier. But yeah, he's cute. He's got a little hidden Mickey, which you're still not gonna be able to see. Can I see the hidden Mickey? No. It's my hidden Mickey. Okay. I got for um a portable DVD player because I spend a lot of time at work waiting for stuff to do. I got bought Beauty and the Beast. I actually don't know why we've never owned this before. Well, we did on video, but like... I've had it on DVD. Oh. I just got rid of all my DVDs because... Well, yeah. But actually, I wouldn't mind collecting the new shiny cover set. Yeah, it's not the new shiny one, but I can watch it in work now and get paid to watch Disney films. Okay. The next thing <coughs> I have was from Carl. And um, totally didn't expect this for fairly obvious reason, and that is the Bell Alex and Ani bracelet, which obviously I didn't expect because we can't get them over here. But the King's Vlog were very kind and very sneaky and helped him out and picked that up for him from Walt Disney World. So that was really cool to get a little bit of uh, Florida under my Christmas tree. So thanks for your help with that one, guys. Let's carry on because I have like yeah. a massive uh, pile. I have three things. And carrying on with the Beauty and the Beast theme, I got the you know, sorry, the dogs in the stuff. <laughs> the Beauty Big. and the Beast lithograph here, and I love this because this is my favourite outfit of Belle's. In fact, I think this is my favourite scene in the whole film. So, yay. And obviously that can go with Lumiere and Cogsworth and Potts, Mrs. Potts and Chip and complete it. Doggy tail. <laughs> so there we go. What are you doing, Mrs? What are you doing? Oh, there you go. I got Sarah and Carl got me the Where's Wookie book. Which, or Where's the Wookie book. Um, so you have to try and find uh, Chewbacca in all the crowded places, which I've actually, I did one and then I was like, no, because if I finish it, I won't do it again. But it's very detailed, just like, where's Wally, but with Star Wars, pretty much. 
It actually has activities in the back, I think. Does it? Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But yeah, it's harder things to find. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> we digress. Um, and then I have a nice stack of Disney clothing here. So, the first one is pyjamas, which is also Beauty and the Beast. I think there was a massive theme going on, I love it. Um, so we have little Chip and the rose and the rose in the jar. That's the trousers for that one. And then the top is that. So it says, what does it say? Tale of Enchantment. And we have Belle and the Beast. And you have to try and get all the uh, old Beauty and the Beast stuff before they replace it all. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it. And then Mum also went with a bit of a Disney theme this year. Everyone did. Yeah, everyone everyone did too. All the Beauty and the Beast stuff was from Carl with the exception of Mrs. Potts and Chip. And then Mum went with Bambi. So I have these pyjama trousers which just have silver rib up there and the cuff. Okay, so that's Bambi. I love it. And they're really super soft. Mm. I haven't worn this yet. Right, the next thing I got, I'm not sure if this is technically Disney because it's a funky um, game anyway. from Disney stuff. <laughs> but I got the Root Pop mug, which I love. It's adorable. I'm still not sure whether I'm going to continue to use it as a mug or get like a little bonsai tree to go on him because I feel like that would be really cute because it's kind of a odd tea mm. shaped mug. But He's cute. He is very cute. And she's wandered around since Christmas Day saying... Nothing. What have you been saying? Nothing. I am tea. <laughs> Every time she makes a cup of tea in it, I am tea. Um, and I have tea. Is a BB-8 sippy cup. Which has a little BB-8 on top, which you just spin around, and it's like that. And then if you shake it, and lose the straw apparently, it's filled with glitter. But yeah. And then <coughs> carrying on with Bambi from Mum, I have a Disney Magical Moments box. Mm. Really Ooh. pretty box. It is really nice box actually. Ooh, let's use a styrofoam. And everywhere. And it is. Can we get that? A Bambi and Thumper. It's actually really cute. It is really cute, actually. And I think um, I have a Tigger in a very similar style to that. So, you look very cute next to him. I love how yours are very much like girly Disney, and I've got Star Wars, Marvel. My table. <laughs> um, and then another one from Carl is this Loungefly Mini Mouse. It's a crossbody bag, so you've got a decent strap. Obviously, it is full because I've been using it. But um, there's no funky lining in this one, to be fair. It's just black. Hmm. But I really like this. And actually, everyone that's seen it said they really like it as well. I carry a lot of stuff that's heavy. I find that. Um the Disney handbags, people do tend to stop you a lot though. Yeah. Like my Star Wars one, well, whenever we go out, you are like, I love your bag. Yeah. And then she you. says, thank you. <laughs> I have good taste. And then I have the Aladdin tote bag, which again, I apologize, is full of stuff because I've been using it to go to work. So you have Genie in the back here, and then Jasmine and Aladdin on the carpet. And it says a whole new world to discover. And I like it. We have quite a lot of these because we do use them. Because we've quite got a bag regularly. charge now. Yeah. yeah. The two bits I have downstairs are actually things I bought myself. <laughs> but I got a fair bit of Christmas money. Um, so Carl and I went shopping after Christmas. And I got this t-shirt from Primark, which has got a Mickey on a bike there. And then, quite awesomely, has the same design on the back. I actually nearly bought that. I love it. And then I came home and she was like, look what I bought. Yeah, and I think this was like £3, something like that. It was reduced. in the sale when I saw it. Yeah, so can't complain at that. And then, and then the last thing that I bought for myself was this. Oh, it wasn't the last thing at all. That's a lie. The last Disney thing I bought for myself 
But that's this not one. true because we went shopping the other day. <laughs> yeah, but that's in a different vlog. It is this Mickey, it's like a varsity jumper. So you've got like the stripe sleeves and it's like a rolled pull neck. Warm. Warm, yeah, I don't know. But it's really comfy and I think it was £12. I really like it. Right. And then the last Disney presents that I got, promise. Just a couple. Just a couple. Was another one from Beck and it is... So I have the fairest of all um, hardcover Disney book and then the poor unfortunate soul. And I already have the the Beast Within version of this that we both read. They're not particularly challenging reads, are no, they? But they're, they're interesting because of how different they are to the original. Yeah, yeah. And I would like the hardcovers so we can just collect, collect those up, which obviously she knew I wanted to do. So she got me a couple more for Christmas and... That's I really all the ones they've released so far, isn't it? Um, I think there might be a frozen one. There's a frozen everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a there's frozen one. There's frozen meerkats at the minute. There are. I want one. We don't need insurance. Anyway. And then Carl has just kind of passed us something of his, which is not technically Disney, but it will remind you of Florida. And it kind of gets a bit of an honourable mention because it's awesome. And that is this. So... Let me hold it so you can try to open it or yeah we can open it up so it's a hard rock cafe oh, turn oh it. <laughs> right you missed one oh I've got it look at that which is awesome and heavy yeah super heavy <laughs> um so because this has actually been about since i went to the comic con she very kindly picked it up for me so he's got Hard Rock on the cards there. And I see them on the chip. Yeah, I think they're on the chip. Yeah, they are. There we go. And then, the, the, can we face it? <laughs> no, doesn't want to. No, it's not going to focus. But trust us, it says Hard Rock on the chip. Maybe it will focus on the dark ones. You think the colour makes a difference? Yeah, the colour one hundred percent makes a difference. If it does it now, you're gonna have to eat your words. There we and go. It does. <laughs> so there we go. So yeah, he's got that which he doesn't want to use. <laughs> no, he's probably gonna keep it because it's um quite a cool case. I'll show you the case again once I've finished clipping all the clips. But yeah, I mean obviously it's quite weighty, but has a lot of the stickers on here and also on this side as well it's really cool and obviously it reminds him of florida and, and he likes it, poker yeah we've been watching <laughs> for any length of time you know that he likes playing poker um i did originally buy it with the intention that when he has poker nights he could use it but he said he's gonna keep that one for neat and use his other set so it's, it's fine. Pretty. It yeah, can go on the fine. wall of his man cave. But yeah, so yeah. And I think that is all of our Disney stuff. All of your Disney stuff. You've got Mostly so my much Disney stuff. stuff. I got so much Disney stuff. But I got really good like, So much in general, to be fair. We got quite spoiled this year. But anyway, um, Carl did get presents, by the way. He just didn't yes, get Disney yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he just didn't get anything Disney at all, really, apart from his Mickey that we showed you. Mickey. Mickey. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys and we'll catch up with you soon. Bye!